This is an age of darkness. showing you Medieval Total War. Now that Medieval 2, Medieval Total War. This game is about 13 years old and I recently found it, so I decided I thought I'd show you all how good of a game it really is. Uh, I, I'm just gonna start a new campaign since I don't have one up and running, but I, it, it's pretty sweet. Well, let me just dive right into it. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna uh, put it on easy because, you know, it's been a while since I, I'm so not good at it. It's been like five years since I last played consistently. Now, the thing about this game is that you can start in three different periods, unlike in Medieval 2. For example, you could be in the Vikings, the early period, the high, or the late Medieval period. I prefer the Viking period because fucking Vikings, need I say more? Obviously, I'm going to play as the Vikings. Um, I'm not really sure what the other factions do. I don't think I ever played them. I played exclusively as the Vikings. Uh, you got the Welsh, the Scots, the Saxons, the Picts, the Northumbrians, the Americans, and the Irish. But I'm going to play as the Vikings, because why the hell not? Now, sorting off, um, it's kind of, the way I think of it as a chess piece, um, sort of, like the map. So, it is turn-based, but you can only move your armies a couple of space, like one or two spaces away. But the good thing is, um, you can move anywhere on the map, um, as, to other places as long as there's a chain of ships connecting it. So, so I could raid, um the I Northern Ireland next turn as the ships are set up into position. So I'm going to do that right now. I remember I used to play this game quite religiously in the day. So uh, let's see if my any of my skills have retained or rather stayed. There you go. That should be good enough. You can right click on them and find it. Each, um, each unit has its own army. So, for example, if they're led by this guy, Ragnar the Peaceful, but each of them have their own general. You can combine armies and move them over, you know, like chess pieces. Um, now, what this does is it, it's a title. And... It'll make it, whoever has it will be, become the Prince of Denmark. So I'm going to make this guy the Prince of Denmark. He'll become a better general and a bit more loyal. And I'll have him stay there so that way no rebellions happen. I'll do the same thing with this uh, guy since he already has command. And he'll be Lord Knut, or Lord Cunt, as it were. Uh, I'm going to build uh, a trader so that way I can get more money. 
because I'm not, I'm probably going to be losing money by the end of this year. build a warlord's warrior hold so that way I can garrison units and start building military buildings. Uh, I'll start training viking landsmen which are probably the best units at this point because they got good ar- because they're gonna get armored units they get a good attack they're armored themselves and they have good morale. Pretty much all the viking units are really good except for the thralls but even then they're still very good against cavalry and charging. These guys are, the Karls are all right. They have good attack and they're armored, but they're just outclassed by um, landsmen. Of course, you got your standard spearmen, peasants, and archers. That I think all factions get. You also got something unique like the berserkers, which uh, are about 24 units but only cost 15. They have excellent attack, morale, irresistible charge, good defense, fast, and large shield, but they may charge without orders, and they qu cost quite a bit. Yeah. So I won't be using them probably unless if I really have to. Uh why are my ports not making any money? Uh yeah, I think that'll end my turn. Just let my navies deploy and have them move out. Damn straight, we should start raiding. I'm gonna build a muster field, so that way I can get, uh, Viking Thralls. I'm gonna attack the Aura Caves. Which means I have to declare war on the Picts because I want their land. I think that's a good place to start raiding. I might as well raise the taxes here since I can. You know, I'm gonna bet that they're probably gonna retreat because the, uh, this army is a bit too large for them to handle. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice amount of money pillaged. And with that, I'll, I can assign someone to be the lord of this place. Do it for this guy. He's very low and he's a very good governor. So you got three things that govern what a person is their loyalty, which is how loyal they are, piety, how pious they are, dread, how much they um, scare other people, command, how good is he at fighting, and acumen, how good they are at running an economy. So, he's very loyal, very, a bit pious, and pretty good at running places, which means he'll be useful over there since I think it's a bit of a poor region. Yeah.
merchant's quarter isn't generating that much money, but there's nothing I can do about that right now, it seems. Excellent. Those acumen went up, and he's a pretty decent governor. Now. Becoming a bit more loyal, and all the better. Damn it. Excellent, he's a natural leader. Uh, they're still gonna rebel. I can do this turn, so I'll wait. I'm starting to run out of money. that I have to do for now because we need more money to, and lands to raid they're gonna they know the warrior hold so they're gonna go back in there Alright, 
time for a battle. Fine weather throughout the day, so I'll begin the battle. No, normally I would send them all into charge, but I'm fairly confident that just my general can take them out. You'll see what I mean. Oof. Viking Huskaros are very good. I wish we could zoom in more, but I can't. So it looks like the Celts are being slaughtered, and I've only lost a couple of Oscar. And they'll regenerate too since they're up. Since they're general units. So the more valor a unit has, the better it is, generally. Oh, they're getting absolutely slaughtered. And that's. The no, that's not the general unit. Even though they're not charging, they're still getting slaughtered. I mean, just look at all the Pictish warrior bodies. God, it just sounds horrible, doesn't it? And they would be running for their lives if they were in the field, but since they're not... There we go. And then there's one left. And we win. Only lost, oh, only lost seven, and I killed two hundred of them. How's that for skill? Oh damn it! Uh, no, nope. I don't need any allies. Actually, I'm fairly confident that he can do it on his own. I don't need watchtowers, so I'm not going to bother with them. Ooh, a shield bearer. So, I'll give that to... I give that to what? 
give that to another Huskar. So that way he can go back. I think this guy can handle two cavalry units on his own. If not, I can always save. Any buildings I can build here? Ah, yes, Royal Mint. himself. for the delay. That's how you deal with rebels, and they had it coming. I think that's all I have time for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you all think. Um, and until next time, uh, I'm Arthasius the First, and I'll see you all next time, hopefully. Thanks for watching. <laughs>